Good day ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nifon Tsui and on this channel I make swimming tutorials. I drop new videos every Wednesdays and Saturdays. If you like the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe. I bet you guys have noticed that I'm not very um, excited and happy as I used to be. Uh, that's probably because I've not been able to sew going to, um, it's almost a month now uh, because of everything that is going on and I don't know, I don't feel too happy. Even if I wanted to, there is, there is no space in my apartment to bring my industrial machines. You know, but and at this point, I'll settle for anything, a mama machine, anything. If I could just, if I could just get myself, let's get the mama machine in this house. I just wish I could get a mama machine in this house. <laughs> I wish I could get a mama machine. You're welcome ladies and gentlemen to another video so in this video i'm going to show you how to make this but this top that has a bustier cut and the strap that form an x in front so now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to fold our paper so how did i fold my paper now how i fold my paper is i divide my busts into four places plus and i add them um, the uh, allowance i intend to use okay now um biggest measurement in this case is the bust sorry is the biggest measurement around the body divided by four plus two now in this case the biggest measurement around the body is the bust so the bust is 32 the two divided the two divided by four is eight plus the four inches i intend to add 12 okay so i'm going to make sure that i've folded my paper using 12 this is 12 inches that we have here okay so now the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to draft my bodies okay like i've told you guys on this channel several times the bodies is the basis on which everything that's due to the part of the body is built okay so now i'm drawing a line at the top of my fabric okay what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that the distance between the top of your paper and here is half an inch like i have done okay now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to place all our and the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop all my vertical measurements. Okay, so vertical measurements are measurements that could, um, come from your shoulder and run down your body, like your underboss length, like your um, top length, your dress length, all the measurements that come from your shoulder running down. Okay, so now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place my underboss length. Okay, now my underboss length is 13. I'm going to make a mark at 13. Okay, then um, in order to find our boss point from our underboss length, we count four inches from our underboss length up. Okay, so what's what we're going to do? One, two, three, four. Okay, so now if you have not seen my video on how to take proper measure, um, body measurements, please see that. That will give you more information on how I found my boss point using my underboss length. Okay, so the boss will always sit around four inches from the underboss length. Okay, so one, two, three, four. If you don't sit at four that 3.5 or 4.5 but 4 inches most times would um, sit on the bus exactly for almost anybody now the next thing I will do after that is I'm going to count 2 inches down and this is where I'm going to place my half cut okay so after I have found that point we're going to rule lines across like so so I have a line here I'm going to have a line here and I'm going to have a line at the top now when that has been done, I'm going to need to place all my measurements across, okay? So this line, this line here is for my shoulder. That's where I'm going to place my shoulder. Your shoulder is always divided by 2. So the shoulder is 14 divided by 2, 7. I'm going to place 7 here, okay? Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place my bust measurements. The bust is 30. The bust is 32. 32 divided by 4 is 8. I'm going to make a mark at 8 inches here. Now I'm going to skip my underboss length and come straight to my half cut and place my underboss length there. Okay. Now the underboss, sorry, my underboss round. The underboss round is 28. 28 divided by 4 is 7. Okay. I'm going to place it here. We're going to rule a straight line from here to here. Okay. And that's what we're going to do. Now the next step after this is we're going to take place our neckline width and our neckline depth now as you've seen this top doesn't have necklines it has straps but you need to understand look at, at the image that we are working with and you need to see where the straps touched okay the deepest part where this um, where the straps are and as i can see there clearly sitting around three inches okay 
so I'm going to come a bit lower than that I'm going to make a mark at 3.5 with a line like this with a line like this first of all at the um, top we're working on doesn't have a round neck okay but we're going to just draft our bodies first and then we're going to keep working from there the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to slope my armhole by one inch okay now I'll advise that if you have not go and watch my video on how to draft um, an off shoulder bustier cut that's going to help you explain all of this a lot better now the next step well next thing we're going to do is to place our armhole now how do you find your armhole from like of finding your armhole is your bust divided by six plus 1.5 and in this case it brings us to um 6.8 okay we're working the bust of 32 divided by six plus 1.5 6.8 i'm going to stop at 6.8 right there okay now i'm going to make really line from here to here like so then i'm going to come to the middle so now i'm going to come to the middle of 6.8 middle of 6.8 is this is 3.4 so i'm going to come to around where 3.4 is the middle of my armhole i'm going to make a mark there when you're done with that you're going to come in by half an inch okay so you're going to eat into the armhole of the front by half an inch okay so i'm going to swoop like this and then I'm going to come out like so. I'm going to extend this line to the top to meet that part there. Now we are done with the um, bodies that we're drafting basically. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to need to connect a line from this part of our neckline, okay, to one inch out after our armhole, okay. Now with the image that you've seen, the armhole there is sitting a bit low, okay. It's not sitting at this point exactly. Uh, according to the image that we are working with okay so we're going to need to bring it down by one inch so i'm going to draw a line from here to here okay so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to draw a line from this point to this point okay now when that has been done you're going to need to hold the distance from here to here because you know that the strap is going to come from here to here okay Now, when that is done, you are going to need to measure from here to here, okay, and from here to here, because as you know, the strap is going to come like from here, and it's going to need to go around the other side up to the shoulder. So you can see the strap is coming like this, and it's going the other way. So the same distance that would that here to this other side would be in the same distance. So sorry, my camera stopped filming. As I was saying the same distance we need to measure from here to here and then if you see the strap comes from here and it goes around to the other shoulder that we will have here by the time we are done cutting so the same distance that's from here to this point would be is the same distance that here to here would be i don't know if that is clear but what you will do for me now is just like i have done here you will draw a line from this part of your shoulder to this part of your neckline okay and when you have done that you will measure the both lines that we have so what i simply did by the camera it didn't film because it went off was i measured i drew a line connecting this point to this point what we will do is we'll measure from here to here and that's 10 inches we'll write 10 inches down we're going to measure from here to here that is 7.5 inches 7.5 that means we have 17.5 inches at the end of the day this is 10 inches this is 7.5 17.5 okay so write down that, that number down safely somewhere 17.5 we're going to need it when we're cutting the black strap that's supposed to go around the um bustier that we are drafting now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to need to place her bust span measurements okay that's her nipple to nipple measurements so we're going to come here nipple to nipple is three inches we're going is six inches six inches divided by two is um three inches plus half an inch 3.5 i'm going to place that number here i'm going to place that number here 3.5 everywhere and i'm going to place that number down here okay what i'm going to do when i'm done with that i'm going to draw a straight line from top to bottom right then when I'm done with that, <laughs> life has time to look plenty. People that don't like mathematics are for the we at this point. Anyway, when we are done with that, we're going to come up by half an inch at the under bust length to create a leaf system. In case you have any confusion of what I'm doing here, I strongly advise that you watch the video on how to draft a an off shoulder bustier cut. It's going to explain all of this properly. Okay, so from under here, we're going to come up by half an inch to create a bit of um a, a, a lift at her under bust length okay so 
when that is done the next thing will be to place her under bust curve okay now this is the curve that's going to make it sit perfectly under her bust this is not a class for beginners so for this size i'm going to place um 1.5 for my under bust curve because of the um, size of her bust i will drop um, measure numbers on the screen so that you know what to use when you're working on the bust that you're working on okay but for me mine is 1.5 i'm going to place 1.5 here and i'm going to place 1.5 here okay the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a straight line from top to bottom like so okay then i'm going to rule my draw my curve from here okay i'm going to curve out to here all right so now when that is done i'm going to come to the top now and i'm going to draw come like this place my tape here okay i'm going to mark half inch out here okay and i'm going to mark where one inch is on this point as you can see from the tip of my yardstick to this point here is one inch okay now when that is done i'm going to connect a line from this half inch to the center point that we have here to the boss point so from half inch i'm rolling the line to my boss point and i'm going to come to one inch and i'm going to connect one inch to my boss point okay wow now that looks very very complex <laughs> now when we're done with drafting this point the next thing we're going to do is we're going to need to pay back all the excesses that we have taken okay so we're taking away 1.5 from here and 1.5 from here so that's what we're going to need to replace first of all okay so we're going to come here i'm going to make a mark at 1.5 we're going to come to the top and make a mark at 1.5 okay we're going to draw a straight line from top to this point okay and then we're going to connect from here to here and make here is connected already at this point we can now keep our regular two inches of sewing allowance so from here we're going to make a mark at two inches and from here we're going to make a mark at two inches okay we're going to read a straight line from top to bottom and then connect here like this and here is connected already the last step the last step that I'm going to do now is I'm going to need to increase this point by half an inch. If not, it's not going to meet up here. So I'm going to increase the height of this part by half an inch so that by the time I'm joining, it will land, it will sit with this guy over there. Okay, so I'm going to come here, mark where half an inch is, okay? Connect the point. From there, you can see we've increased it. Then I'm going to draw a straight line, gently sloping it back to this point from here. Okay, as you can see, I'm not bringing it to my allowance. I'm bringing it back to here okay so now and I'm sure by now a lot of you are wondering how do you cut this madness <laughs> so this is how I'm going to cut it out okay please if you follow this video step by step it doesn't matter if you are an intermediate you should be able to get this just follow when I do a step you do a step okay it's quite easy okay so now let's proceed let me show you how I'm going to cut this out so the first cut, so we're going to come from here. This half inch I just added now is my um, allowance at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to cut here. Out. I'm going to cut here like this. Then I'm going to cut around here, back to the top. Okay. Then I'm going to cut. Here. going to cut here I'm going to cut here I'm going to cut here like so and then we're going to cut out mm -hmm. please remember the 17 that we um, that we wrote down initially this 17 do not forget this 17.5 okay do not forget this 17.5 please all right okay so now we are done cutting the front and then we're going to keep this aside please remember this 17.5 do not allow this 17.5 to leave your heart meditate upon it day and night because we're going to need that measurement that's and um, so now it's time to draft to draft the back okay all right so now it's time to draft the back bodies okay so now when you start when you want to start drafting the back the first thing you're going to do is you're going to acknowledge the fact that there's a zipper at the back 
okay so normally for my zipper allowance i keep two inches so you're going to make a mark at two inches like so and then you're going to draw a straight line from top to bottom okay at two inches two inches top to bottom uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to draft the bodies for the back very very similar to what we did before so half inch at the top that's my shoulder then i'm going to mark my Oops, my underboss length from there I'm going to mark my half cut at 15 then I'm going to place my bust 1, 2, 3, 4 okay so my bust is going to fall at 9 okay I'm going to have straight lines running across all these points so a line here a line here and a line here from top to bottom okay now when that is done I'm going to place my shoulder measurement over here just like what we did in the front my shoulder is seven my bust is eight so i'm going to place eight here my under bust round is seven i'm going to come to the half cut and place seven that seven is 28 this eight my bust that i placed was 32 32 divided by four eight that's what i placed here my um under bust round is 28 28 divided by four seven that's what was placed here okay i'm going to really line from up straight down okay and then i'm going to place my arm uh, i'm going to do my neckline and then slope my arm hole now my neckline was 3.5 like we did before make a mark there now at the back it doesn't really matter because as, as you've seen in the picture that i've shown you guys earlier on we're going to we're going to cut off the back okay and the straps the strap is going to replace whatever we we cut out okay so we're going to draw a random neckline there slope my shoulder by one inch like i did in front okay the shoulder was slipped by one inch in front that's it, that my armhole was 32 the same the same formula and uh, the way to find your armhole is your bust divided by six plus 1.5 so my boss is 32 divided by six plus 1.5 is 6.8 so i'm going to come to 6.8 and i'm going to make a dot run a line from up straight to that point and then run another line across okay now but unlike the front i'm not going to come in at half an inch okay i'm going to from the middle I'm going to just come out to this point you see that so when we're almost done the next thing is going to be about that okay now the um, same way we placed our so our bus span the same way we placed our bus span in front the same thing we're going to do at the front we place our bus span at 3.5 so i'm going to come to where 3.5 is this 3.5 i'm going to make a mark here okay now for the length of my dart i'm going to start my dart from seven inches and i'm going to run it all the way down so you're going to i've made the mark there at seven you're going to now check and see that this is also 3.5 for the distance it is still 3.5 there you can see where the dot is at 3.5 you're going to draw a straight line from top to this point okay and then for this from this point you're going to need to mark half an inch on both sides so i've kept my yardstick as half an inch i've placed half an inch on this line i'm going to mark the beginning and then i'm going to make a mark as well one inch in one inch is so what that means is that i've marked half inch here half inch here when that is done we're going to run a line from top to bottom now as you've seen on the back of this um dress it doesn't have it doesn't have a shoulder okay the straps come from the front and then go into the back okay so now how that's going to work is that we're going to need to cut off five inches from this back so from this line here not up here from the main line here i'm going to make a mark at five inches draw a straight line from top to bottom okay and then draw another line on top the same way i had my shoulder line we'll draw another line on top and at half an inch that, that will be for our sewing allowance okay then now we'll keep all my regular allowance now my regular allowance is three inches normally i keep two inches like i kept two inches in the front but now i'm going to keep three inches at this down part because you've seen this space here this half inch half inch it kept half inch and half inch here. by the time you hold your dart what you're actually taking is one inch because we had half inch here and we had half inch here half inch plus half inch one inch okay so this is going to be one inch at the end of the day so you're going to need to replace that before you keep your regular allowance in the front i kept two inches okay so two plus one three down here i'm going to mark, make a mark at three but we do not have um as much as three okay so okay i'm going to mark my regular two inches like i did in front okay so make a mark as where two inches is we're going to draw a straight line from top to bottom like so okay now the next thing i'm going to do is this because of 
I don't want my zipper to um, puff at the back. I don't have that puffiness at the back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take away half inch from this point. Okay, that's going to help me consume some of that excess. Consume some of that excess that causes the puffiness that we have at the back. Okay, so now I'm going to run a line from here to this point, bottom of my allowance. You see that? From my the bottom of my allowance, okay, there's a line to this point. So from this line, I came up by half an inch, connected that half an inch to the bottom of the allowance I have here. Because this line is the main line. This line here is our sewing, is, um, is our seam allowance. So from the bottom of my seam allowance to this is the line that demarcated my seam allowance for my actual body. You're going to run a line from here to half inch on top of that line. Okay, so now let me cut this out to show you guys how it goes. So, so I'm going to cut here. Then I'm going to cut here. Then I'm going to cut here. See that? And then I'm going to come to this part and I'm going to cut it like this. Hmm. Now, please remember. I want you to remember, just like how we are trying to remember that 17.5. Okay, 17.5 is for the front. Now, for the back, what you're going to do is this you are going to need to remember, you're going to need to remember this number. You see this number that we cut off from here, this five inches. You're going to need to hold this number too in your head. That five inches, we're going to write it down. So now what we're going to do is this. This number that this 17.5 that um we have been tracking is going to help us cut going to help us cut that black strap that we'll add back to it. Okay? So you see this 17.5 plus five inches will give us 22. 22, 22, then we'll bring down this five point five okay so you see that 22.5 this 22.5 is going to be the length of that black strap the black strap that we we'll add around it so please this five inches is this distance okay that five inches that we cut off from here this is that five inches this 17 is the one from the um from the front that we took out okay so by the time you add 17 to this five you have 22.5 okay so that is that now let me show you how this goes so remember this number now this is the number that you have to now remember now 22.5 okay this is our zipper allowance that we're going to need to fold it in so that we know what is what when i'm trying to explain to you guys how this will go at the end of the day now let me tell you how this is gonna go you're gonna give me your money and i'm gonna leave here with the money and you're not gonna call the cops do we have an agreement or else your wife is gonna go okay now i'm going to tape god jesus i'm staying in this house for too long i'm going to tape this and i'm going to show you guys how the whole strap thing is going to work so what i'm simply doing what i'm simply gonna do what i'm simply doing is i'm taping here and here together like so and then i'm taping here and here together because you're going to sew this when you are doing this you are going to join them together at half an inch so that's what i'm doing okay to show you guys how that strap is going to come in now now that i've taped my two pieces together like this what i'm going to do now is behind the camera i'm going to cut 22.5 i'm going to cut 22.5 by 5 and then i'm going to come back here okay so let's proceed Okay, no, I think I should just show you guys anyway. Before you guys are saying, hey, Ben, this time we didn't know how to cut 22.5 to 22.5. This is what I'm talking about. So, I'm going to mark 22.5, like so. 22.5. And then, oof, oh, oh. And Then, you're going to mark out 5 inches, okay? 5 inches. You're going to mark out 5 inches. This is how what I mean when I say 22 by 5. In case of next time, I'm not going to show you guys again. 22, 22 by 5. It's a rectangle. 22 by 5. 22 by 5, like so. See that? I'm going to cut this box two times. So now I'm going to measure another 5 inches again down here five we already know that from here to there is 22 okay so i'm going to mark here again five oh sorry five
So I've cut out the first one. Now I'm going to cut out the second one. Okay, so as you can see, I've cut out my two twenty two point five by five. Okay, now this is another thing I want to add. When you are cutting out this, these rectangles, don't cut it on this grain. You see this grain, this straight grain that's here to here. You see this, this is grain. You don't cut it on that grain. Now you see this other grain on the edge of my fabric that's from here running up. From here running up, you don't cut it on this grain. So this grain is a bit stretcher than this grain, than this grain. Okay, so you don't cut it on this grain. You don't cut it on this grain. You cut it on this grain. Now you've seen what's happening when I pull this. This is giving me the highest amount of stretch. See here it's not really stretching when I drag it. Here it's not really stretching when I drag it. But when I drag it here, you see what's happening? This is the this is the grain on which you're gonna cut it. You're going to cut it on this grain because this grain has the most stretch. You are cutting the strap that is going around the person's shoulder, swooping around the bust, going around the shoulder. That is not a straight. That's not a straight. This thing. So you have to cut the strap to follow that. Um, the, but the, the curves that you are going to be doing and this is the friendliest grain that would allow you to at least do that if you know what you are doing and you do it on this grain it's come out perfectly so back to whatever what we were saying now see these two things one is supposed to come one is going to come from here you see this this is the boss that we had so it's coming from here this part that we cut is going to come from here like this let me tape it and show you guys how it's going to come tape this part here so the first black band is going to come from this part it's going to swoop up like so you see the way it's squeezing that is the way your fabric will squeeze if you don't cut it on a stretchy on that stretchy green what I just showed you. See the way it's squeezing. This part is going to come like this. It's going to swoop up like so. And then it's going to meet this part. Oops. It's going to meet this part of the back. Okay. Sorry. 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 It's going to swoop and then it's going to meet this part of the back. See this? It's gonna meet this part of the back. The second part is going to come from here. going to come from here notice I'm not putting it from my allowance okay I'm not fixing the band from my allowance because it's going to it's supposed to go into that allowance okay so you need to cut it all the way just cut it long enough to sit at this edge and it should enter so here it's going to come from here it's going to go to the back and it's going to sit over here you see this now look at the picture look at this okay we have two um, sides okay so now the first X is coming from this side from this part of the armhole it's going to run across the front of our bodies okay and it's going to go to the side of the back this one is going to come from here swoop to the other side and going to go to the other side of the back okay i hope this helps whoever is trying to make this top uh looks clear enough okay one more time it's going to come from this side run across go to this side of the back okay come from this side run to the other side of the back you saw the way i did it follow it step by step and all will be well with you okay so that's how you cut all these parts all the parts necessary you see that so you have the x in front of our paper post here better stay down johnny x in front and straight into the back have a nice evening y'all hopefully maybe when we're out of all of this i'm going to try to make this stop so that you guys see how i go about my lining and everything but other than that enjoy your week